Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and on today's episode we are going to be featuring a team based all around Delmise, the ghost grass type Pokemon that has picked up a lot of usage in the recent weeks at the start, from the start of Series 6. So I thought what better time to feature this Pokemon in a team, and as you can see the team is on your screen in front of you right now, consisting of Terrakian, Dusclops, Delmise, Rotom Wash, Clefable, and Salazzle. So um, there will be a poker paste down in the description as always and I'll chuck up the rental code for this team at the end of the episode so do stick around for that. If you are new to the channel do make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you get the notifications when these videos go live and when the videos coming this week go live because the Players' Cup is coming this coming Friday, week today it's starting. So we're going to have some prep, uh, preparation for you players out there to help you get prepared for that tournament coming up, what to expect and how you can kind of get your teams ready and things like that when it's pretty difficult because there's no other real place to practice online at the minute. So we'll do that, we'll be doing lots of content around that leading up to this week so make sure you don't miss that and uh, if you enjoy the video of course do drop a like as well so without further ado let's get into it today the team kind of started off with um ideas around how to beat clefairy and porygon z a common trend of mine um and salazzle obviously has the sludge bomb to get rid of the the clefairy with the life orb it always one shots there on most of the time 75 percent of the time it will one shot it giving terrakian the space then to pick up the knockout on to max porygon z with a close combat um you also get the beat up combination there with Salazzle, which is nice, and fake out support as well. So it kind of supports against the, the Talonflame threats as well that you see sometimes paired with those those slow mons. Um, we've got a trick room mode, obviously with the Delmise. The Delmise is a main centerpiece of the team with the Dusclops. It's got the weakness policy so we can shadow sneak that and then make it up the rest of the team with a bit of redirection support from Clefair Clefable this time and uh, then the Rotom. So we'll get into the ins and outs of the team as we get a bit deeper into the episode but we'll have a couple of games like we always do, try and showcase what the team can do and then we'll go from there. Okay so we've got our first opponent, they are playing a team of Charizard, Ninetales, Leafian, Sylveon, Rhyperia and Clefairy. So it looks as though there's not really a Trick Room mod on this team. So I'd imagine it's more of a, a faster Rhyperia, probably Lightning Rod as well to support that Charizard. Uh, you've got the Leafian which does have that Chlorophyll ability so going to play well and nicely with that Ninetales and its Drought ability there. So uh, we've got to be a bit careful about what we do in this match of course. I think Trick Room is a really nice mod for us here. Um, Mm. But obviously Delmise does struggle a little bit. Terrakian very good. We have to be careful of that uh, Leafian though. So I think what we'll do is go Salazzle, Terrakian, Dusclops and Delmise in this one. Um, and we'll lock in, get into it and uh, hopefully we can do some work. Got to be, like I say, careful of that Leafian because obviously Terrakian going to be weak to those, those grass type attacks. Um... And it will be faster than us under the sun, so it's going to make it a little bit difficult to maneuver around. Whether or not we want to try and get a trick room set up, it's difficult because it conflicts. Obviously, there's a lot of fire types on this team that make it difficult for us to uh, to get things going here. So um, we do see the Clefairy and the Sylveon. Now, does a Sylveon max here? That's the thing. It's an it's an interesting lead for my opponent. They've obviously got the Clefairy there to stop the beat up from Salazzle onto Terrakian. We do have Fake Out that we can go for, um, and we do have Sludge Bomb that we can go for into to either of these Pokemon. Nice play, nice easy play for us. Might just be going for the Sludge Bomb and Rock Slide, honestly. Could go for Taunt into Clefairy, but I'm not really too concerned about it now. If it redirects right now, I mean, it's going to go down to Sludge Bomb. Um, and Salazzle's still in a nice position going into the next turn. It's not going to get taken down here. Um, and the Rock Slide always has the, the chance to pick up a flinch, as long as the Sylveon doesn't max, of course. Uh, that is always a possibility, but uh, we're not going to see that here. We're just going to see the follow me, and we'll be able to put that uh, Sludge Bomb Kalk into practice here as we do uh, get that off into the Clefairy. Ooh, just missing out the knockout there, so uh, not always going to be guaranteed, I guess. Hyper Beam coming out. That's a Scarf Sylveon. <laughs> okay, well, we can say goodbye to Terrakian. Uh, <laughs> okay, well... I mean, it's not ideal, 
at all. Uh, we need to get a trick room up. We need to, to get a trick room up uh, ASAP. Um, I'm not too worried about what the Clefairy does this next turn. It can't really do too much. It is threatened, of course. We could go for a Sludge Bomb if we want into the Sylvian. But it might be better to try and get something like Delmise onto the field while we can. Um, the only issue is here if we see a potential Sing come out from the Clefairy, which would be, which would be very awkward. Um, would really slow us down. And now the Terrakian gone, we lose our kind of main way to deal with this uh, less sun core in the team. Okay, let's just go for the Trick Room here. I'd imagine the Clefairy has got Sing. It's only, what, 55, 60% accurate, so... It's the kind of, it's not got the best of chances to, uh, to hit. Um, okay, well, there's a recharge from the Sylvian. We're not scarfed because it outsped our Terrakian. Um, we get the trick room up, so that's good. Now we can max um, and go for an anchor shot. I think is probably the best, the best, the best thing to do. Um, and maybe a, a shadow sneak into, or oh, maybe a nightshade into the Clefairy, just to get rid of it, so we can make sure we get the anchor shot into the Sylvian here, uh, and hopefully pick up the knockout with that attack. I'd imagine because it is scarfed, it's probably not very bulky, so we should be able to pick up the knockout there. Uh, get a defense boost as well, which will help, and then the next turn that kind of sets us up nicely to get the uh, the Shadow Sneak weakness policy boost onto the Delmise. Um, and whatever comes in then is going to have to kind of contend with like plus two attacks because my opponent doesn't have any um, any intimidate to kind of dampen our attacks here. So we'll get that nightshade. I think it's the the safest play there. It's kind of risky going for our shadow sneak in case they do go for follow me. Um, oh, we didn't max. What are we doing? We needed to max there. We we hundred percent need max. But uh, okay, um, we get away with that. I felt like we needed to max there, but um, I mean, we do get away with that. I can't believe we didn't max. We just misclicked, so we get away with it. We get rid of the Sylvian. Uh, 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 help in hand hyper beam there would have been really, really, really bad for us to take. Um, now the Nine Tails and the Leaf Yun coming out. Um, again, I feel like uh, it's a bit tricky because of the is the Sash on. Let's have a look at my opponent's team. Is the Nine Tails got the sash? I don't think so. I think the Rhyperia has probably got the sash. It makes more sense. You've probably got wide lens on Nine Tails, uh, just because it, it kind of tends to carry hypnosis. So I think what we'll do is we'll go for the. We'll make sure we're maxing. Yeah, we're going for the max Phantasm into Nine Tails, and we'll go for a Shadow Sneak now and proc that weakness policy boost. The nice thing is that Leafyun doesn't get any uh, fire type attacks. Not that I'm aware of, so we shouldn't be under too much threat from the Leafy in here. Um, it's obviously going to be the fastest thing on the field as well with the sun up now and uh, the chlorophyll boost taking effect. So Delmizen, not a bad position right now if we can get rid of the Ninetales. Obviously if the Ninetales sticks around this turn, if it does have the Sash, that could lead to a few problems. Uh, we do see a Protect on the Ninetales, so I actually don't mind that too much. Um, we'll get the Shadow Sneak into the Delmize, we'll proc the weakness policy a little bit of damage to ourselves interesting that the leafian isn't um isn't maxing now because you would imagine that would have went for the max there uh oof, okay now we can just nightshade um the nine tails this next turn the crit there is big because it means that the nine tails is going to be in range for us the next turn we can just poltergeist again into the leafian or we could go for a steel spike uh maybe better to go for the steel spike now it has sword stance because it now is going to be a very big threat um but i think uh yeah we'll steal spike it's minus one defense um it gives us a defense boost as well it puts us in a little bit of a better position i guess for the next few turns depending on what the leafion does but i'd imagine it will max here we'll go for a nightshade into the nine tails and that will pick up the knockout there like i say we get a bit fortunate with that critical hit um it is putting it in range for um us to be able to use the nightshade now i don't know how much it would have done without the crit obviously probably about half that amount so you're maybe not in that position um 
go for it now and it, it would make it more difficult because going for the steel spike then would be a bit tricky although we could then double up into the nine tails with a nightshade steel spike just to make sure that we get the defense boost and uh, can take whatever the leafian throws at us but uh, not the case obviously as we get the nightshade into the nine tails now we'll pick up the knockout there and we'll be able to get this steel spike now into the leafian should it may even pick up the knockout you know with that defense drop that we got before and it does so we pick up a nice victory to kick us off today against a, a very kind of awkward team uh to play against because of the 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 kind of the two modes that the team has there so um managing to do that all right and i feel like the two kind of mods of our team kind of forced a specific lead from my opponent to avoid um the beat up sweep even though they could have probably went for the nine tails leafian lead which i feel like would have been very awkward for us to deal with but um thankfully we didn't have to deal with that and maybe you know my opponent kind of thought i'm not going to go down the leafian nine tails route because i feel like they're just going to go their trick room route and that could be very awkward for us okay here we go i wanted a pz clefairy lead and that's what we've got so i'm going to instantly go teraki and salazzle hope that they lead with that pz and clefairy so we can get this play off and um i think in the back in the back i think we got dusclops and delmise it's kind of tempting to bring rotom here as well rotom's not bad um honestly uh but i think then the delmise dusclops can do some work and it's it, it's a delmise team so it's we've got to we've got to bring the delmise to all games so we're going to go with that as we wait for my opponent now let's have a look at their team what could they do obviously the pz clefairy it's an obnoxious combination that i just dislike as you will know if you visit my streams i talk about this quite regularly um other than that there isn't really any speed control outside of like max um max strike and max airstream from the charizard um You've got potentially Aqua Jet set up on um, Belly Drum Aqua Jet set up with the Azumarill, um, which would make sense. You've got enough to kind of put off the the fire the the Grass types in the in the format with your your Fire Core there with Nine Tails and Charizard. So Belly Drum Azumarill could be could be something we need to be careful of. Uh, of course, if that is the case, we do have Delmise to kind of fall back on with its its Grass type in there. It is a nice kind of check to that as well so we'll see what we'll see what we come up against as my opponent leads off with clefairy and terrakian hmm. okay so it's an interesting lead now the clefairy here the inclusion of it obviously allows my opponent to um get around the potential um beat up from ourselves do we want to keep our Pokemon for later on? Or do we want to kind of go all in here? Because we could go for a close combat into the opposing Terrakian and just a fake out into Clefairy. They've got to be worried, I think, though, about us. Um, actually, what we could potentially do, we could go all in on the Clefairy here um, and fake it out. Fake out Clefairy. Or we could just Sludge Bomb. And I think we max. Go max, Knuckle. Uh, 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 actually let's just no, no, we're just gonna okay we're timing out we're gonna do that they're gonna max we're gonna protect we're gonna see it follow me I don't know what our top move is on on uh, Salazzle I think it is I'm gonna say probably beat up beat up I think so we're gonna beat beat up uh, if we beat up the opposing track in that is gonna be horrendously bad for us as we've timed out. This could be the worst timeout in history. Let's see. But they're probably going to follow me. So we kind of get away with it there. So they're not going to understand this play. I'm guessing they're probably going to try and get rid of Salazzle here. Yeah, that, that would have been really bad if we didn't see it follow me. Like if we saw help in hand, then we went beat up into their Terraki. And that would be horrendously bad. I'd imagine they'll go Max Knuckle though into our Terraki. Because it's such a threat. No, Rockfall, they want to take away the beat-up option, which makes sense. Um, okay. Well. I think what we could potentially do... Well, we got a few options. We got a few options. Losing Salazzle, like, that's never great. 
Um, but I don't think they go on PC, which is which is kind of um, reassuring a little bit. I think we we'll try and get our trick room up. So we see weakness policy on the Terrakian. Uh, so we do need to be very, very careful around that. Um, now, if they go max knuckle here, uh, it is kind of risky that they go max knuckle because we could bring in Delmise. Um, it's better to bring in Delmise now. It might be better to go for a taunt into the opposing Clefairy. In all honesty, mm, I kind of be skeptical whether they go for max knuckle or not. Um, just because the threat of us switching in Delmise now is, is a quite an obvious one, I think, for them. Um, and I'd rather get Delmise onto the field kind of unscathed. I'm going to taunt the Clefairy. And I'm definitely going to go for a Trick Room. And they've got to worry about Ally Switch as well. So they go got Steel Spike. Yeah, so I mean, it's better us doing this. Oh, he actually survives. That's perfect. So this is going to mean we're going to be able to stop the, um, the potential Sing from the Clefairy, which is another thing that would be super threatening to us. And it gives us another turn to kind of uh, stall out their max their max turns, which is ideal. Um, okay, a Moonblast, which is actually even better for us, honestly, because now we can get Delmise onto the field. Um, and we can go for the anchor shot into the Clefairy, proc our weakness policy as well. And that's the last turn of my opponent's max moves. So, I mean, that kind of that feels like it's going to be the bet the best option for us here uh, clefairy is sitting duck now obviously taunted um yeah we'll get dumb eyes onto the field now we've lost a lot of resources in doing this but i still don't feel like the match is kind of out of our control obviously the timeout turn one did not help at all okay so we'll go for the steel spike into the clefairy i mean what are they going to switch in here they've not i mean they've got their fire mons but i mean the defense boost alone is just gonna help us out more than anything and also we're not procking a weakness policy on that Terrakian which is the most important thing right now um, because if we proc that uh, the game is gonna get a lot harder a lot quicker they can't max knuckle because we've got two ghost types out on the field so that helps us out a bunch um, and they're likely to go steel spike I think um, but to be honest I'm not too, well, you can't ignore Terrakian, but I'm not too concerned about it right now. I'm more concerned about these potential fire types in the back, which I'd imagine we'll see in a moment once we get rid of this Clefairy, because it's going to go down uh, as we proc our weakness policy on the Delmise. Um, and we do go before this Clefairy. So we're going to be able to pick up the knockout here, which is ideal. Like I say, get the defense boost, which is the most important thing for us right now, because obviously Teraki and more physical, physically based Pokemon. Um, the defense here is imperative. Like I say, I think they're going to go for the Steel Spike themselves. Ah, we just see a rock fall, which is interesting. I think the defense boost would have probably helped them out a little bit more there, um, in all honesty. As we know, they're not sashed. Um, And I think an anchor shot probably gets them the next turn, but it will depend on what comes in next to the Terrakian, obviously. It's going to be the Nine Tails. It's going to get the drought up. Uh, so the sun is going to appear. Now, is this going to be sh sashed? I always worry about Nine Tails being sashed, um, but I don't know whether, whether it's going to be. Um, could be, could well be, could well be. We could be safe. We could be super safe and just go for the double into nine tails here with a, a nightshade and uh, the poltergeist. It lower the defense on the Terrakian and take away that boost that it's already had. Um, we may see the nine tails protect here. I don't know. I don't mind if it does because it just sets it up for it to be knocked out next turn. It kind of detracts a little bit from us having to double into it as well. We just get a bit of damage onto it now. Um, and then we can concentrate a little bit more down onto the Terrakian, especially because we've just set a trick room up. We're in a nice, nice spot now. No protects coming out. As we get the Nightshade into the Ninetales and the Max Phantasm into you know, the Ninetales here. Like it would have been perfect to be able to go for something like uh, the Steel Spike there, but unfortunately, um, 
we have to concentrate down on the nine tails. It's too too much of a threat um, not to. So you see another rock slide, but not really doing too much to either Dusclops or Delmai. So, and the thing is, I think with Dusclops right now, we can probably one on one to rack in. So we don't really need to worry about it too much as the uh, the Zard comes out as the last Pokemon. Um, okay, so we'll max Phantasm the Zard, and I think we will go for a Shadow Sneak. Uh, no, not a Shadow Sneak. And I cheered into the, the tracking. Um, I don't suspect that the Charizard is, is sashed. I'd imagine it's probably life orbed. Um, although you can never you can never quite tell, can you? Imagine the Zard will probably try and protect here, but um, I don't think we need to worry too much. If it does, we still got the trick room up, even though this is the last turn of our max turns. Um, no protector coming out as we see another nightshade just into the track in here um, and maybe Delmise like I said like if it's sash then that causes a few problems but no sash so uh, yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be super fine and like I said um, even though we had that really bad start we timed out we got ourselves into a position with the trick room core with Dusclops Delmise where you know we didn't really need the kind of I guess the start the stalled stalled out Terrakian uh, helped us kind of get through those max turns from my opponent and uh, put us in a position not the best way you want to go about things but uh, also not the worst as well as we can just end this game with a nightshade and an anchor shot and it's really nice actually we've we've got two wins here um, against two really kind of threatening calls I'd say to the team and both times Dusclops and Delmai's coming through in a pinch to uh, to close these ones out for us and showing how good they can be um, as a partnership. So uh, we do get some nice items um, and we want to go and throw this rental team up, don't we, friends? So it does mean, unfortunately, we're throwing up a new rental code. Uh, I will be taking down one of the ones that we do have up currently. But like I've been saying in previous videos, um, if you want any of the previous rental teams uh, hosted again, do let me know. I have a second switch. I can transfer the Pokemon over to that and I can host these teams over there. So which team am I going to take down? Um, I probably don't want to take that one down. I've got a new Lapras team. So I think we'll take the Lapras one down for now. Um yeah got a new lapras team coming uh it's featuring buffalant as well so it's going to be a lot of fun that'll be up in the next day or so um there it is actually speak of the devil and here is the damai's team so there we go make it public and i'll get that code there for you friends so Come on, come on, internet. It's quite fitting as well that we're featuring a Clefable as well at the minute, obviously with the Clefable event running um, on the um, the Max Raid event dens. Uh, so you can get yourself a square shiny one at the minute. And there's the code. So have a lot of fun with the team, my friends. As always, if you do try it, please let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are on the team, how you've been getting on with it. I I, I guarantee you're going to have a lot of fun with it and you're going to have probably a lot of success with it as well. So um, I hope you do. Remember, as always, please drop a like on the video. It does really help out the channel, the video in general, and um, just makes it more easier for other people to find this video and find this team and give them a little bit of help and just open their eyes to maybe some different uh, strats that they're not currently aware of and um we will end things there as always thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves be kind to yourself be kind to each other and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye